All right, oh, he's not gonna fool me again. All right, he's not the I beginner. I know who you are this time. It's not. It's not gonna go down that way. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, play it normal. Normal stuff now. This time. Tick tock on the clock. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the ugly move. The ugly move? The only move? The ugly move. Just what I would have done. Attack. Attack, he says. The one on the instant champion. Yeah. Yeah, the same one. <laughs> same old guy. The same old guy. Yeah, I've seen him before. Yeah, well, they aged him. They put him in a bat. They aged him? <laughs> yeah, it's the beard. Rook B7, Pianchetto. Yeah.
Oh, is he telling moves or something? Yeah, he's helping me. Uh, helping you? Why would... Since when was that a thing? Helping. Helping. Yeah. Since Alex cares. Alex. Squeaking out of this. No, it's squeaking. It's a squeak. Squeak it on. Squeak, squeak this. Draw. I guess it's going to be a draw. <laughs> well, I had to say it. Draw his picture. are meant to Hey guys, Brian here. Hope you enjoyed the game. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss future videos. And wow, it's great to see these um, two masters back at it. This time going full power for both sides. And it was a great game um, by the two. It looked like Levon had slowly had the game in the bag. But then in the end, Carl kind of made a comeback but lost on time. But uh, yeah, very, very well played between these two. And... A nice sequel to their surprisingly viral video, so kudos to them both. Nicely done. If you want to get Carl a cup of coffee, his link is in the video description. Uh, if you want to learn more about Levon, his uh, website and phone number is in the video description as well. Um, I think he teaches too, so if anybody's interested. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Let me know what you guys thought of the game in the comments below. And there's going to be some nice, subtle, interesting tactics uh, that we're going to learn as well as some strategies. So get ready for that. And before we do the analysis, you know what to do. Let's all grab a cup of coffee, tea, water, whatever you're drinking. Let's all take a nice sip and get in that relaxed state, which is the best state for learning. Here we go. All right. So in this position, um, Levon is going after the rook, and then in the game, Carl plays rook b7. Let's go move back. Pause video. Will be another move for black here. All right, black can play bishop takes knight, inviting the knight to take the rook. So um, knight takes rook, and what what does black play here? Does he scoop up the the uh, the knight? No, he plays bishop takes b2. Got this nice fork. White says, okay, I'll take your knight. Black says, okay, I'll take your rook, threatening your bishop. Bishop moves out of the way and attacking the rook. And let's just say rook goes to d8. What's what's inevitably, uh, what's inevitably going to happen is that white will lose one of these two rooks. And... Um, White will have the bishop pair, and same number of pawns. Black has a knight and a and a bishop, and 
computer likes black slightly better at point nine, but the whole point of that tactic was remember in the game this B pawn slowly making its way uh, is no longer there, so that was the advantage that black had in terms of um, doing that sequence. Uh, but let's go a little bit later on in the game, and in the game here, um, in the game knight c6 was played, let's go move back. Instead of, uh, usually I say find the best move, what's the best strategy for white here? I mean, I think we all know what white is trying to do, but try to think of a secondary strategy that, that helps support his primary strategy, if that makes sense. Okay, so obviously black will love to, I mean, I'm sorry, white will love to queen this pawn, right? Um, but let's say uh, for, for white, what he would want to do is, would he rather get rid of the bishop or the knight? In terms of when you're looking at queening this pawn, I probably want to get rid of the knight because... Um, Knight can guard the queen square as well as here, whereas this bishop is 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 very limited in scope and cannot get to the queen square. So, one idea that White could play is start attacking the um, the knight and possibly trade it off, and that's basically one one strategy for White here. And if he does do that, then he can kind of bring the king in, and then with the king the knight and the rook and the pawn at slowly advancing can kind of um, create some opportunities for white so that's basically one strategy um, for white in this position and computer has white here at very impressive 6.1 but the thing is that it's not like um, an immediate like tactic this is a like a 40 move long grind that that will um, prove why it's 6.1, but it's going to take a long grind for white to, to do it, and it involves trading off um, one of the pieces and bringing his king into the game, along with the knight, the rook, and the pawn, and slowly, um, you know, just adding pressure here and maybe forcing um, an exchange and queening. So, but yeah, I mean that's the general strategy for white there, but. Yeah, this is this is one of those games where when two really good people play, there's no obvious like tactics, tactics. You know what I'm saying? That you see in um, typical non-master games. Uh, there's they're just these like long strategies that you know the computer sees um, a person at a at a bigger advantage, but it's gonna take a long grind to prove it. But uh, yeah, very, very well done, very well played by these two. Um, nice to see them going full power, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the game and the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.